Bowie is down for a nap, so let's see if I can bang the rest of this out before she wakes up. I was hoping that maybe you guys would love to see an extreme vanity clean out video. I'm moving on to my concealer foundation drawer. My new year is all about letting go, letting go of expectations, letting go of baggage, letting go of stuff so I can try and focus and think clearly. As a mom, you know, you've got a million things going through your head every day and being a work from home mom who struggles with childcare makes it that much more difficult for me to think clearly and try and focus on where I'm going, where I'm headed and find my way towards my goals. Just wanna clear out my space as much as possible to hopefully help me think a little more clearly in 2020. So we have a lot of these different It Cosmetics CC creams. It's because they're my favorite. I like to have at least two to three shades in a foundation that I love at all times because my complexion changes so much depending on what season it is. This is another fave of mine. This is from Bobbi Brown, her Illuminating Moisture Balm. This is an amazing mixture with the CC cream because it just lightens up the consistency, makes it not so full coverage, and it has a little bit of shimmer in it to give you that dewiness, which is really pretty and natural. These were my latest foundation obsessions. These are tinted oil drops from Kozas. Again, I got them in three different shades. Those are awesome for real no makeup makeup days. I am going to be posting a no makeup makeup routine for beginners very soon on my channel, so stay tuned for that. It's like a four minute routine and it gets you out the door looking like you have no makeup on but also fixing all of your little imperfections and really highlighting all of your beautiful features. This is foundation that I used every day for a while. It's from Dior and it's their Nude Air. I don't use it anymore so I, I don't need these almost empty bottles sitting in my drawer. I got a bunch of these different Hollywood Flawless Filter Foundations from Charlotte Tilbury. I actually found that they kind of made me feel oily. Also, not my color <laughs> at all, so why am I hanging on to this? I did a tutorial for Bare Minerals not that long ago on my IGTV, and I used only their sticks, only my fingers to apply, and I loved them. I got this from Thrive because I always get sucked in to the ads on Instagram, so I bought it and I didn't like it at all. To me, it just does not compare to the It Cosmetics CC creams. This is one that I love, again, from It Cosmetics and it's Bye Bye Redness. I struggle with a lot of redness in and around this area and this stuff. It feels thicker in consistency on your finger, but when you put it on your face, it really is just this light mask, light layer that still lets a lot of your freckles and everything come through, but it does cancel out that redness right away. So. Love this. I got a bunch of these when I was on my Dior Nude Air Kick, which is this guy, um, because these are a more affordable dupe from NYX. They are the Total Control Drop Foundation. It was a pretty good dupe. It wasn't quite as good as the Dior Nude Air, but if you want to save a lot of money, then this is definitely the way you want to go. Another, <laughs> this is my fifth, sixth bottle of It Cosmetic CC Cream. This is clearly my favorite foundation to use. No, no. No, no. That is it for my foundations. Now moving on to concealer. This is a concealer called Magic Away from Charlotte Tilbury. It's too sad to even come out. It doesn't even want to come out and play with me. So that means it's time to go. And honestly, I don't remember loving them quite as much as my two go-tos. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for my more sheer days when I'm going for a more no makeup look. But on the days that I need full coverage because my mom life bags under my eyes are seriously playing up, shape tape all the way. So seven and a half shape tapes in here in a wide variety of colors. The last ones that I have in here are from It Cosmetics as well and they're the Bye Bye Under Eye. I just got the illuminating one because I felt like the full coverage was a little bit cakey for my taste and I think the illuminating one's gonna be just that little bit lighter and brighter for me. Moving on to my drawer that is blushes, highlighters, and bronzers. I'm not big on on contouring anymore. So I used to use this a lot. As you can see, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit. I don't have the time for all of that, so 
I'm getting rid of her. This is a powder version of that. It's a, high uh, it's a highlight and contour palette from Tarte. I don't think I've ever touched any of the powders in here, which to me means it's a good time to say goodbye. This is a contour and highlight palette from Charlotte Tilbury that I love. I just love this bronzer because it's a really light bronzer. So the contour that you can create with it is quite minimal and subtle. I'm all for the natural vibes. This highlighter has just the slightest bit of shimmer in it. So it's really soft highlight, really, really natural. Does not look like a unicorn has just graced its way across your face. If you do want the unicorn look though, this is awesome. And it's still really natural looking. It is in liquid form, obviously. Bowie must have squeezed the crap out of this and gotten it to this state. I'm still gonna hang on to it because this stuff is like liquid gold. Speaking of liquid gold, this is the Bar of Gold palette from Charlotte Tilbury as well. They can be used wet or dry, which is just nice versatility. So if you want them to be more opaque and have more of like a pow effect, then use them wet. But if you want just a nice light dusting of highlight, then you can use them dry. This is a palette I've actually used a fair bit, um, but I think that means it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. This is a really nice cream blush and I am a big fan of cream blush cause it just gives you a little touch of flush to your cheeks to let you look alive and well. Laura Mercier probably makes my favorite blushes. Fresco, Rose, Rose, and Ginger. I use one of them every single day. So not getting rid of those guys. These are from Maybelline, the City Bronzers. I'm actually gonna keep 100, which is the lightest shade because on those days when I don't really wanna look like I'm wearing bronzer, but I need a little bit of color, a little bit of pigment added, this is the perfect like beige bronzer to add. This is from Kozas. Again, it's a cream blush and a cream highlight. It goes on really nice. This is a lot more vibrant than the Charlotte Tilbury one. So when I'm looking for a nice like summer look or wanna look, go get an, a brighter pop on my cheeks, this is the one to go for. This is cute, this is from e.l.f. and they're cream blushes as well, but I've never even touched them, so they gotta go. Laura Mercier, what is this? Whoa, that's such a pretty highlighter. I don't need that in my life. I have good highlighters already. Charlotte Tilbury, that's a blush, but I prefer my Laura Mercier, so I'm gonna say no. Oh, this is a good one. Luster from NARS. This was like my blush that I wore every single day for years. I feel like sentimentally attached to it. I don't wanna get rid of it. This is the Tartist Pro Glow palette. It's beautiful. I have used it a fair bit but it's starting to look kind of pilly and sad. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm gonna let go. This is a Becca palette that I used a lot as well, but I haven't used it in ages, so that one can go too. These three blushes from Tarte, and I really just was not a fan of the formula of these guys. The color didn't seem to show up on my face. This I am definitely keeping though. This is MAC Cosmetics Strobe Cream. This is like OG. You just kind of rub it on the back of your hand because you don't want to apply it directly on your face. A lot of product comes out. It's the most beautiful dewy effect. It blends right in your skin like a moisturizer would but it really just lets the light catch you in all the right places. Okay, we've done really well again. I'm gonna show you what I'm getting rid of. This is all of the foundation, concealer, bronzers, blush, highlighters that I'm getting rid of. This is all that is left in my bronzer highlight blush drawer. And this is all that is left in my foundation concealer drawer. Sort of last drawer is this mashup of crap. I don't even know what's in here. This is supposed to be my kind of primers drawer and it's kind of turned into this like hot mess collection of things. Black color hairspray from Halloween. I like to keep my Halloween makeup in here so that it doesn't get all dusty and disgusting in storage. This is totally done. My name has been basically scratched off of it. This was sent to me from Urban Decay and I love this stuff, so I'm gonna have to buy a new one. Double Duty Beauty, this is a stay spray from Tarte. So while I'm waiting on my Urban Decay, I'm gonna stick with this. This is a primer that I 
have recently been using and absolutely love, but it needs to be used with the right foundation. It does not work well with the tinted face oil from Kozas, just so anybody using those combinations know, it's it's no bueno. This works amazing though for the It Cosmetics CC cream. The consistency is super weird, but it's very effective. This is tinted moisturizer, and I actually love Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. I don't know why it's in my primer drawer, but that's gonna go back into my foundation drawer. This is a really pretty primer from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Wonder Glow for that kind of more dewy finish uh, or dewy base for your makeup. This is a nice option. This is my favorite primer. It's the Photo Finish. This has been around forever. People love it. I love it. No more pores, pore refiner primer. I actually really do like this stuff. It's from Dr. Brandt. So I'm going to hang on to this. Oh my gosh another It Cosmetics CC cream. These are all variations of the Photo Finish Primer. Don't think any of them work quite as well as the OG formula, so I'm just gonna get rid of these. Spirit Gum for Halloween only. I mean, not only, I guess you could use it for other things in life. But then we've got color correctors. These color correctors are awesome. They are super pigmented, so be careful when you're using them. I usually dilute them with a little bit of face oil so that it just blends more naturally, but they're great. A mustache. A mustache in my primer drawer. You never know when you might need a, a mustache. Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. That is a great double for my Urban Decay because I know this stuff works because I've used it at Halloween with crazy amounts of makeup on my face and it held up all night long. Primer water, like what does that even mean? Spirit gum remover for that handy dandy spirit gum that I've got lying around. And then I've got a bunch of glitter. <laughs> For what? I don't know. We're down to the last few items to go through, which is eyebrows and mascara. Got a lot of old mascaras in here. They're dried out and expired and gross. I should not be putting that on my eyeballs. This is my favorite mascara. Obviously keeping this, though I am running out, so I should buy a new one. It's Roller Lash by Benefit. Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions. Again, I bought the hype and I tried it and I didn't like it. Got a couple of these. Man Eater from Tarte. I already have mascara on, so I'm not gonna get the full effects of how this works, but the brush looks really cool, so I feel like I wanna keep it. That definitely like ramped it up a notch. This was my favorite brow brush. It's from Charlotte Tilbury, shocking. Legendary brows, but this one is dead, and instead, I replaced it with Benefits Give Me Brow, and I actually really love this, so I'm gonna use this. And then I got the clear one, too, to like hold my feisty brows in place. This is from It Cosmetics. It's their superhero lash, and I think I saw it on like Molly Sims recommended products. I was like, Molly Sims is pretty. She's got pretty eyes. I'll get whatever mascara she uses. But I hate that. Look how clumpy and disgusting that is. I really like mascara that has an applicator brush that looks like this little crazy like micro mini comb, you know? It's not hairs, it's actually plastic. I'm just gonna do the rest of this video with one clockwork orange looking eye. Look, I have another legendary brows and I didn't even know it. See, this is why these things are so important to do. You're like shopping in your own closet. Got my eyebrows microbladed, so I have no need for brow pens or anything like that anymore. More things I don't need, more things I don't need. I'm just gonna make an executive decision and get rid of everything else that's in this drawer. Do you know what I just found? A new roller lash by Benefit Cosmetics. I was just saying, I should go and buy a new one. And there's a new one sitting right here waiting to be used. All that's left is my new Benefit mascara, this Man Eater one that seemed pretty cool, and then my brow gels. Eyeliners. I've got a whole thing, whoa, of eyeliner pencils here. Yes, this is a cardboard box, don't judge me. I haven't gotten my acrylic ones yet. <laughs> Blue, never gonna use. Brown, yes I will. White, doubt it, but maybe. Gold, no. Lighter gold, no. No, yes, no, 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 no. Just keeping these guys, really just black and brown liquid and pencil eyeliners with one white one for good measure that I've never used, but maybe I will one day. I am on the last drawer and it is my powder drawer. So this is pressed powders, loose powders. I cannot believe we have actually gotten through as much as we have and it is, not yet dark outside. Almost 
dark outside, but not yet there. The first one here is Becca Cosmetics Under Eye Brightening Setting Power, but then I discovered Laura Mercier's Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes, and this one took the cake for me. Most days I don't powder too much, so I just use this, but on days when I'm going for that full glam look, bam, cake face, this is what I use all over, and it doesn't cake you out too much, not as much as pressed powders. I did get this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness on days that I really wanted to go no makeup. I just could just give myself a quick brush with this stuff and it works but it is a little bit too dark for me so I'll hang on to it for summertime and see if they make a lighter color for me right now. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. Really did not like that product. This is from Thrive Cosmetics as I've said about a couple of their products throughout this video. Wasn't a big fan. Not a big fan of this one either. This is a powder that I use to fill in my hairline especially when I was struggling with postpartum hair loss. If you haven't seen my postpartum hair loss video yet I have got some awesome tips and tricks this one included in there. This is a pressed powder from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just not a pressed powder person. I know that it's handy to have when you're out and about if you care or if you get really shiny, but I typically tend to run drier than shiny and oily. This is Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I actually really like this. It's a little bit different from the Laura Mercier because it's got really fine granules. Then I've got two more translucent setting powders from Laura Mercier. Let's just see which ones. Yep, still got the sticker on, so I will hang on to that. And then this is their glow one. So I'm gonna try this because maybe that adds a little bit of illumination that doesn't make you look so cakey. Okay, we're done and I feel like I've been left with not very much product at all. That's a good thing. I need to, you know, clear my physical space so I can clear my mental space and I'm feeling really good about this. Oh my God, I wish you could feel the weight of this just has to be at least 50 pounds. It feels at least twice the weight of my child. I don't know where to recycle or donate sort of used makeup. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm gonna figure out the most economical, reusable way to dispose of this situation. I hope you guys enjoyed this extreme beauty vanity clean out. Leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you wanna see an extreme clean out of anything else. That will be the motivation I need to finally do it. And as always, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Mwah!